Well, next up, we've got a real brain twister. Follow me. It's a catfishing story that actually ends well. Oh, this is amazing. Let me explain. The Daily Mail reports a woman in Florida named Nicole was almost scammed by a man that she met on Instagram named Marcus. Marcus was catfishing her using somebody else's photo. And then he started asking, oh, hi, okay, I get it. Asking, <laughs> that's a photo he was using. He, was, he started asking her for money. So right away, she blocked him. But then months later, she found pics of the same guy on Instagram, except this time, it was really him. Yeah, the, the picture was really the real guy this time. His name is Alessandro, okay. His, uh, his profession is working on a yacht crew out of Florida. Okay, hi, hi, Alessandro. <laughs> wow, hi, Alessandro. Whoa! So they connected on DMs, and you guys, the rest is history, they're together. Can you believe that? Look at the way she's looking at him. They're in love. That is in love. Good for them, but I don't know. I feel like I'd be like 10 years into the relationship and still be like, I don't know if, I, if this is really you. Oh, I didn't think about that angle. I know, but congratulations to Alessandro because you know you're hot. If people are using your photos to catfish other people, congratulations on your face and your body. Congrats. Good for them. All right, well. This story um, comes courtesy of my mom, actually. Aww. Yeah. Um, so spring is in the air, the flowers are in bloom, and they give us a little skippity in our step, and now science can confirm it. Flowers have power. Vogue reports a study found that flowers make us happy. Now, they tested this on a group of 147 women. Each woman got either a candle, a fruit basket, or a beautiful floral bouquet. And even three days later, the flower group felt happier than the rest. But the biggest confirmation, according to scientists, is 100% of women who received the flowers displayed a Duchenne smile, which is, quote, the sole indicator of true enjoyment. It's the smile you can't fake. Science defines it as what happens when the zygomatic major in the cheek tugs the lips upwards and the orbicularis oculi around the eyes squeezes the corners into crow's feet. Now, this is an actual phenomenon that happens. It has scientific names I can't pronounce. <laughs> um, Rossi? Yes, -y. I would like to conduct my own test. Okay, oh, oh, okay, let's try it. Oh, oh, it worked. Um, <laughs> look at it. Well, can I try one? Look at this. Wait, you have, what? I have something for you. Oh. <laughs> My obicularis oculi is moving. <laughs> My zygomatic major is going off the chain, and it's something I can't fake.